Today, we're going to take a look at the Conversation API, the new Conversation API uh, from OpenAI. It uses Responses API, but you just pass a Conversation ID, and everything is automatically managed for you, including uh, tool call outputs and the inclusion of tool call outputs in your message history. So it really makes everything very convenient when you use the Conversation API. Uh, you can see it in the logs. If you go to Conversations, these are the conversations that was created. You can create new conversations or reuse old ones from these IDs. Uh, we're going to talk about how we're going to do it, but the important part is when you ask it, like if you're using Code Interpreter uh, and the model generates some code, this code doesn't automatically go into the model's context. So you would have to do this manually. But with Conversations API, you can set it so that it's included automatically. Here it created some code and I ask it to uh, see, print the exact code and it knows it because it's in its context. So let me show you something else. This is interesting. You go to the API reference. Um, this is all done via a responses API. You can now, uh, there's a new parameter called include, and you can include call interpreter outputs, computer call outputs, image URL, file, ser file search results. If you're using uh, automated rack system that OpenAI provides, image URLs from input image, uh, log props and reasoning encrypted content. So these are the ones currently supported. Just remember that. And essentially uh, how this works is you uh, call this openai.conversations create, and then you can grab its ID. And once you grab its ID, you just pass it to as a parameter to conversation. And that's it. Everything is Everything else is handled for you. You can pass your regular uh, tools that OpenAI provides, or you can create your own tools, of course. You just have to use this include. And if you look at what all is, uh, in, you can include, uh, you can, like we said, uh, file search results. You can actually see it here in your terminal as well, if needed. Okay, so this script, which will be freely available, it's um, at my Patreon. Uh, the link for that will be in the comment uh, or the description, where, depending on where you're watching this from. Um, if you're uh, watching this as a paid patron, the, uh, the code is attached already in the post. By the way, well, uh, if you do check out my Patreon, I do have 400 plus LLM interesting applications centered around large language models, and I do exclusive tutorials and content there. Also, a weekly meeting every Sunday with the patrons. I also offer consulting services. Just take a look around, look at the different memberships, see if, see if something you're interested in. So essentially how this works is uh, this script, which is very simple so that you can understand how it works, you can build on it. When you first run the script, it'll create a conversation ID that text file, and it will store the conversation ID. Um, and when you run it again, let's run it again. See here, it printed uh, creating new conversation. But if you run it again, now it's going to reuse this conversation ID. So this way you can rerun it because the conversation ID is only stored in memory. But we are storing it to file so we can persist it. If you wanted a new conversation, all you have to do is just delete this file or the uh, contents of it. So it'll create a new conversation. So this way you can just say hi, what have you, and OpenAI will keep track of this for you. So that's the beauty of it. If you look at our conversations, a new conversation was created. It says hi. Now, pay attention that we are not uh, keeping track of any messages list or anything like that. We just pass the input as user. You can also pass system message or developer message, but that's it. This is our call. As you can see, we don't have to do anything. We're just taking user input, make our call. The rest of it is essentially just 
dealing with the conversation ID. That's it. I'm pretty printing with term color. So I can ask here, uh, please create. So I can say, please use Python to find the 54th, 54th prime number using brute force. I can send this message and it will write the code and then execute it. And once we receive um, containers created automatically for us, uh, it also prints the usage. So 54th prime is 251. But if we come here and refresh conversation, you'll be able to see the code that was written to brute force the, the finding of the prime number. And our previous, uh, previous responses are here as well. So this is very really, uh, interesting and useful. I just wanted to explore that. There is uh, more to it, of course. I also am including this conversation docs.txt. This is the entire API reference for conversations, including streaming events and everything. So you can use this as a context if you want to build uh, more complex stuff. You can read this through uh, OpenAI's API documentation, but it, it, their API reference can be very slow. Um, but I copied it from here for convenience and put it in this uh, conversation box at txt. And this will be also available at the download uh, from my Patreon. Yeah, just uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. Uh, this will be freely available at my Patreon. You do have to become a free member, but you don't have to pay anything. But while you're there, consider becoming a paying patron, like I said. Just uh, browse around and see if you like what you see. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.